Ah, oh, you're back. So, how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager? Oh, very good. Very good indeed. You, my dear, are going to fit in here quite nicely. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more... Mm, personal nature. It's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been... Well, erratic would be an understatement. I do believe he is truly mad. But it's worse than that. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear treachery. So you understand my fear. If Cicero's planning something and conspiring with one of our own, it would be disastrous. Dear sister, I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No, you need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. Like inside the Night Mother's coffin. They'll never think to check it. Who in their right mind would hide inside? Now go, before they meet and report back to me with whatever you learn. Kill well, and often. according to plan. The others, I've spoken to them, and they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex, <laughs> perhaps even the Argonian, and the Unchild. What about you? Hmm? Have you... Have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. Oh, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Poor Cicero. Dear Cicero. Such a humble servant. But he will never hear my words. For he is not the listener. Oh, but how can I defend you? I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone. Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you. For you are the one. Yes, you. You who shares my iron tomb. Who warms my ancient bones. I give you this task. Journey to Wallenwood. Speak with Armand Poitier. Poor Cicero. 
Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard, but I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero, the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises when silence Treachery! Defiler! Debaser and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Speak, worm! She spoke to you? More treachery! More trickery and deceit! You lie! The Night Mother speaks only to the listener! And there is no listener! She... she said that. She said those words. To you. Darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words, the binding words, written in the keeping tomes. The signal so I would know, mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then, it's true, she's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. She has chosen you! <laughs> oh, hail the listener! <laughs> My Sithis, this ends now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. Oh, I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no. She spoke only to her. To the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true. It's true. The Night Mother has spoken. The silence has been broken. The listener has been chosen. When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? Then what in Sithis' name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. Is this just more of the fool's rambling? What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother, who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? By Sithis. And? What did she say? Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is, but Valenrude, that I have heard of, and I know where it is. Hmm. No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. Oh, you are the listener! You are the listener! I have served Mother well, I have! <laughs> oh, well, yes. 
I did. I did indeed. I tried to listen. <laughs> tried so hard. But the night mother never spoke to poor Cicero. The silence became almost maddening. Oh, but that was then. This is now. You're the listener, and the night mother chose you for a reason, I'm sure. Cicero will remain the happy. Keeper. Oh, the listener, well, listens. <laughs> the Night Mother speaks to you, guides you on your path. But when the Night Mother speaks, the listener must obey. You must, for her word is the will of Sithis, and Sithis is the Dark Brotherhood <gasps> incarnate. Surely you're pulling Cicero's leg. Wait. <laughs> the listener is serious. <laughs> oh. Well, of course the Night Mother will speak to you again. She might speak now or later or... I don't know. But speak she will. The Night Mother is part of you now. You get to hear voices inside your head. The rest of us should be so lucky. Are you excited? Oh, you should be. Things are finally looking up. I don't like mimes, minstrels, thespians, acrobats, jugglers, troubadours, or tumblers. Flutists give me a headache. I particularly hate jesters. As a rule, I'm also not crazy about the corpses of old women. For the Night Mother, I'll make an exception. But Astrid is the only mistress I serve. Well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. You've got people to kill, my friend. Best get to it. Need something? He's a vampire and has blended into human society for years. He's never far from his female companion, Hurt, also a vampire. The contract is for the male, Hearn, but you'll probably have to contend with the female, too. So for Sithis' sake, watch yourself. He is, by all accounts, the worst bard in all of Skyrim. Apparently, so many people sought his death, Astrid had to hold a lottery to determine the client. Good luck, and try not to get yourself killed.
Is the line for my next performance starting already? <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Plenty of room for everyone. All right, how about this? Shadows creep, and, and phantoms leap. A man's got, he's got scared, and the demons dared to, uh, visit upon him, all which they feared. Brilliant, I know, it's a gift. No sarcasm this time. You faced a vampire and lived to tell the tale. Well done. And if you contracted Sanguinari Vampiris, be sure to get that taken care of. Else you'll end up like our own Babette. Unless, of course, that was your goal all along. Here's your payment. Wonderful. The only good bard is a dead one, as far as I'm concerned. All that singing and mirth. Your payment, as per the usual. <laughs>